Hello guys, how you doing? Do you want to know about LMIA job offer? What is it? What are its benefits? How you can get it? Is it easy or difficult to get it? I'll answer all of these questions in this video. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos almost every day now. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, what is a LMIA job offer? LMIA stands for Labor Market Impact Assessment. Now let's suppose that there is an employer with a job position or a job requirement. He or she can appoint a foreign national to fill that job position. But for that, he needs to go to ESDC to get a LMIA. Employment and Social Development Canada. They assess an offer of employment to ensure that the employment of a foreign worker will not have a negative impact on the Canadian labor market. Now the benefits. With a successful LMIA, Canadian work permit can be applied. In terms of the permanent residence, this is the official screenshot from the official website of uh, Government of Canada. Here they have written in regards to the employer. You can offer a job to an expressentry candidate supported by LMIA or ask them to create an expressentry profile. They may be invited to apply for permanent residence in the next invitation round from the expressentry pool. Now let's see how many points you can get. They've mentioned it over here for the NOC00, 200 points will be awarded and for the NOC0, A or B, 50 points will be awarded. The system no longer awards 600 points for a job offer. Earlier they used to award 600 points each for PNP and a valid job offer but now they award only 50 points after 2016. Okay, how you can get it? Is it easy or difficult? For this to you to understand, you should actually, you know, think in terms of employers. Employers actually first need to try and find a Canadian citizen or permanent resident to fill the job. They need to advertise the job requirement in Canadian Job Bank and two other places. After doing this, if they are still not able to fill the job position, then they can go for LMIA. They need to provide information about number of Canadians who applied for the position, out of which how many were interviewed and details, detailed explanations of why the Canadians were not selected. They also need to pay a fee of around 100, uh, around 1000 Canadian dollars. ESDC will assess all the factors also including the salary offered for the job position, working conditions, is there any ongoing labor dispute in the company, etc. So all of this, you know, you can definitely conclude that it is not at all easy to get a LMIA job offer. Yes, you can get it. It's not impossible if you have a niche skill and if there's a requirement, you can definitely get it and people do get it, but it is not at all easy to get a LMIA job offer. If you have a niche skill, you find, you know, you know that it's a niche skill and you can definitely look for such a job in Canada. If they don't find a Canadian citizen or permanent resident, they can get you a LMIA offer. Also, thanks for watching. If you have any queries or doubts, please comment in the comment section below. I would also love to hear the feedback from you. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.